Hello out there in the digital world, I'm Hollywood, host of the podcast Spoilers on the Rat Pack Podcast Network, where your hosts have lots of opinions but zero credentials. We watch a bad movie, we crack a couple jokes, and we have some fun at the end. I'm joined by my regular contributor to the show, Adam. Greetings. And today we're talking about a superhero movie, yes. Captain America, colon, Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> which is an adaptation of the Marvel comic book uh, uh, maxi-series, Civil War. Okay. So in the original comics, what happened, what, there was an event that led to the death of lots of kids by a supervillain. So the government stepped in and said, why are all these villains and good guys, why aren't they registered? Shouldn't they, we register weapons, okay. you know, guns, shouldn't we register their powers? So there, now two camps are formed. Iron Man's like, totally. Everybody knows who I am. Everyone knows I'm Tony Stark. Everybody, you know, should be registered. And then Captain America's like, well, that's against your civil liberties because I'm Captain America. And then like, you know, they go to war and everything. So okay. I forgot what's happening in this movie. It, it looks like Captain America's friend, uh, who looks like... The Winter Soldier. The guy with the metal arm? No, no. The, the, in the beginning of the trailer, it shows a guy that looks kind of like Ruffalo, but it's not Ruffalo. Uh, it's an old friend of his, Bucky or something, I think. Yeah, he becomes the Winter Soldier. Oh, okay, I didn't, see, I didn't see that one. Yeah. Oh, maybe I should watch that one. Yeah. But anyway, it looks like they're going, coming after him because maybe he hasn't registered. Uh -huh. And so they're fighting. <laughs> See, it's different, than, than, and I haven't been watching the last four. To be honest with you, Adam, I'm getting tired of these comic book movies. Is that right? I can't, I can't anymore. I can't. Because this is doing, it, technically, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, mm -hmm. there's only like 15 heroes, maybe. Right. Whereas in the comic book series, it was everyone in Marvel going head to head. Oh, okay. So it, it's not the same like appeal. Plus, I'm just getting tired of them. Okay. They're all like, mm -hmm. the, they all follow the same beats. The thing about movies is I'm supposed to, you always say, I want to believe that this is not my world. Yes. Set up the rules and I'll buy into it. Right. Well, in a movie, I want to be able to think like, oh, there's a chance our hero can die. No. Oh, These movies are coming out for 15 more years. There's no way anyone in this movie is dying. Well, they die in the comics too, don't they? Some they the do die, in the, but this is, we're talking about a movie here. Right. But even in the movie world, they can reboot it. I mean, like they did it with Superman and Spider-Man and Batman. They keep I, rebooting it and like starting it over. I know, but they don't die. I want to see death. In this oh. movie, I want to see some characters fall. I want to see Hawkeye oh, get yeah. taken out. I want I to see Ant-Man get crushed. I can't see them killing anybody. Exactly. They're not going to kill anybody off. So I know the heroes are going to win. It's the same formula. Heroes are going to win the bad guys at the end. Well, they, they killed off uh, Rogue. Not Rogue. Jean Grey in the X-Men <laughs> back in the day. And she came back. Damn it. As, as uh, Phoenix. Uh, Cyclops. He died. Yeah, he did die. Yeah. He, that guy's still dead. Xavier died and then they brought him back. They brought him back. See? There's, yeah, it's true. There should be more, but it's a protagonist. I mean, it's not, it's not, the, it's not Hollywood style to have a, a, a sad ending, a bad ending. I know. But it's, they should every now and then. I, I don't know, dude. I, just, I can't with these comic book movies. It looks fine. It looks good. I'll probably watch Avengers 2 and the, the Winter Soldier just to catch up on the events, but I'm not going to be out there opening yeah. weekend to see this. I'm, no, 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 I'm no. just, I'm not. I, I, I haven't even seen the last uh, Captain America. Yeah, the Winter I'm, Soldier. I'm not a big Captain America fan. I, okay. I, I find him to be kind of dull as far as superheroes go. And it, this is a Captain America movie, but they seem like like Iron. Like it feels like this is trying to be an Iron Man movie. Yeah. I'm like, oh. But see, the, the thing that kind of makes me sad about this one because it's a Captain America movie, and he's against Iron Man, which means Iron Man has to lose. Not necessarily. In in the comic books, Iron Man's team wins. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Ooh. This, like I said, this movie looks fine. It's just, it looks like every other superhero movie out there. I really liked yeah. Ant-Man because it, yeah. was, it was a heist film, yep. but also had like superhero stuff in it. But it didn't incorporate this, Ant-Man didn't focus too much on the cinematic universe that it's sharing with like, like, yeah, Falcon was in there. But like they weren't dependent on like we gotta have Thor come in, we gotta have this guy come in, we gotta have this guy come in. It was like its own on its own merit, away from everything for the most part. And it wasn't too superhero-y. It was more of a crime movie, and I like okay. that. That's what that's what you have to do now because people. I think people are getting tired of su superhero movies. Yeah, well, my, my mom won't watch them, and I got her to watch Ant Man because like it's got Paul Rudd, which you know from Friends, right? Uh -huh. And uh, Michael Douglas, which is you know from being awesome. Yeah. So, so I got her on board, and she enjoyed it. Yeah. But it was, it was like, it was a superhero light. It was a light superhero movie. Yeah. So, which I, I think is why she was able to buy into it. And that was a good stepping stone. Guardians of the Galaxy is my next, hopefully, to get yeah. to watch. Yeah, that's a good one. Too, yeah. Because it's not too, like, superhero-y. Yeah. It's, it's more about the characters and less about the powers. Yeah. In fact, not, nobody really has powers. They're just 
bunch of people. Groot, I get, ah, doesn't matter. It was good. <laughs> well, they're aliens, that's yeah. why. And, yeah, exactly, they're aliens. And it was more comedy-based, mm -hmm. like Ant-Man too. I think it was yeah. more comedy-based than the usual superhero stuff. So, closing thoughts on this trailer, Adam. Uh, well, I'm going to watch it, because I, I, I'm, uh, In I'm theaters? a sheep. <laughs> no. Meh, maybe. Oh, yeah, you're sheep, meh. Maybe. Yeah, I, I, I'm kind of a sheep when it comes to the Marvel stuff. Uh, DC stuff, it's kind of hit or miss for me. Okay. The, the TV shows, I can't... The, the problem I have with the DC Universe, they, they don't take their secret identity very, very uh, seriously. Yeah. Everybody knows who they are, and that's yeah. upsetting. As for me, um, I'll watch it eventually. Okay. Probably five years. Yeah, me too. I'm going to wait for all this superhero hype to go down. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm sure the nerds will fucking fall in love with this movie. Yeah. I'm not a fan. <laughs> Sorry. Well, there's a lot of Tony Hawk fans. Tony Stark. Tony Stark fans. Tony Stark fans. Yeah. Tony Hawk. Everybody loves Iron Man. Yeah. Well, not this awesome. guy. You no? Know? No. He's so, he's so quick talking. No. It's good. No. Like that's not how he was originally in the comics. <laughs> yeah, well, this is a movie. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> like we established earlier. Right. All right. Okay. Make sure to like this page and make sure to also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Just find us. Spoilers show at spoilers show. That's two S's in the middle. Also go to ratpackpodcast.com slash spoilers for all the other audio episodes of our podcast.